Shout out to Seven and shout out to Facebook Marketplace. I just picked up this Husqvarna. It has a 24 horse V twin Briggs and Stratton. The guy said he thinks it just needs gas. It's got a good battery. It's got four tractor tires. I really wanted the four tractor tires. I really wanted the engine. Uh, I don't know what we'll do with the mower. It's a hydrostatic. I might pulley swap it and see what that actually does because I've heard you can't do it. Might be a good one to test it on. Anyway, I've got a Dixie Chopper Zero Turn that needs that 24 horse Briggs. He said, I also have a tiller. That tiller, he said he cleaned the carburetor. Must be some kind of trash in the line. Uh, it was 25 bucks, and he threw in a line trimmer with a brush cutter for free. So package deal with a rusted out mower deck, $125. I guess today is brought to you by the color orange. Fresh Husqvarna stickers, that's cool. It almost feels like the tiller was worth 125 and we'll just call the mower free. And I want to push the mower off now, but I think it'd be cooler if we could put some gas in it and drive it off. Stand by. So I just went and grabbed myself some lunch and then I grabbed a gas can. Let's see if the mower's thirsty. Probably should take the oil too. Oil looks really good. There's some kind of bumping noise. Maybe that's not a rod. And I remember now the guy said it was running about two weeks ago. in it it's a die hard I don't know how old it is but it's starting it good shout out to die hard then I wonder if it'll restart now it's a big fat maybe Feels like the motor mount bolts are loose and it's shaking. Let me see if I can tighten those down. We might get the hood back on it. Maybe put the grill in it. Maybe go wash it. It needs a good washing. And it feels like while you're at it, why don't you pull the gas in the carburetor of the tiller and see if it'll start. Hold on. Gas is on, choke is on, key is on. Pass compression. I think that's going to be an easy fix. 
So update time, I just tightened the motor mount bolts. Two of them seem loose, two of them seem tight. They're all tight now. And just air up the front two tires. Back's fine. It is pressure wash time. I want to see what's underneath that mold. Anyway, this is the before. I'll show you the after. Here is the after. It looks a lot better. I need to get the grill in there and it's starting to rain. That might be filling up the mud hole for this mower. So I'm back in the shop. I was out running the tiller, but it's hot sun. I'm going to come in the garage in the shade. Anyway, this is an Intech V124 horse Briggs and Stratton. I think what I'll do is go ahead and take the carburetor off. It runs good when you're going wide open, kind of like the tiller. I want to be able to idle. So uh, we're going to break into it, see if we can get the carburetor apart, clean, put back together, and running good. And then I want to hit the mud hole. I have visions of getting it muddy. So before I take the carburetor off and tear it apart, I've got this water bottle, the fuel line's going there. It could have been the fuel pump messed up. Let's turn it over and see if it's pumping any fuel. Hmm. Maybe change the fuel pump before we tear the carburetor apart? So there's a half a tank of gas. I see fuel in the fuel filter. I just stole this off the Husqvarna Zero Term. Let's put it on there and see if it works. Might be problem solved. It is moment of truth time. I've changed out the fuel pump. I've got the hose going into the bottle. Let's see if it squirts. It's not pumping. So I've got the air hose blowing into the gas line. If you look at the filler cap, hold on, let me zoom in. So I've got the air hose on the fuel line. If I blow into the air hose, you can see the fumes coming out. I can hear bubbles into the tank. So either the line was stopped up and it's not now, or it was not stopped up to begin with. Make sure there's no open flames in the garage if you try this. So now I'm gonna go blow into the tank with my mouth, see if I can get any gas into the bottle. So, gas line is not stopped up. Let's put it back on the fuel pump, see if it'll pump now. So now it's just blowing into the tank. It's going through the fuel pump into the bottle. If we hit the key, it should be pumping now. Now I'm going to hook that to the carburetor. It should run. should. I feel like the right thing to do would be take the carburetor apart and clean it, but I kind of want to hit the mud first. Let's put cleaning the carburetor on hold and see if we can get to the mud hole. So I just greased the front wheels and now we're working on the hood. I'm going to try to put the grill in place. Before I do that, I'm going to clean these dirty lenses. Maybe clean up inside of here. See if we can get the headlights to work and be bright. It is time to lower it down, see if it'll start, and then try it out in the mud hole. So here are both machines. The tractor runs, the tiller runs. Tiller did its work this morning. The tractor's about to go to the mud hole now. Anyway, they both run. They like to run wide open. Anyway, I think right now I'll fire them both up, let you listen to them. Then I'm take the tractor to the mud hole.
So the wheel is spinning inside the tire. I don't think I can push the mower, hold the seat down, and push the pedal. So I don't know if it was the tire failed or the valve stem failed. It might have been low tire pressure wore off the valve stem. We're going to get a new valve stem in there, put some air in it, head back to the hole. Okay, I've got a valve stem ready to go in. I just got to put in my valve stem installer tool. Thank you.